Hello Automation Anime Lovers, welcome back to KD Sessions and in this video we will explore what records variables what record variables are, how to create them and how to use them efficiently in your uh, automation task boards So first understand what is a record variable A record variable is a powerful data structure that allows you to store multiple pieces of related data in a single variable Think of it as a table with rows and column and uh, where each row each row represent a record and each column represent a field. This makes it ideal for handling complex data sheets, workbooks or worksheets. Alright, so let's see a step by step demonstration of uh, creating a ver record variable in Automation Anywhere A360. Let me go to the control row. I will go to this uh, variables palette and uh, I will click on this create variable button and uh, in the type I will select record and we can give a name record1 and uh, we can also set the schema of the record you can check this and uh, then we can uh, click on this add button so here we can add a schema it is like a structure or a template of the record so here we can assign the name of the field means at the uh, index 0 which field uh, we want uh, for example if you want name field at index 0 we can add one more field which will be at uh, index 1 and we can assign the name of that field so this is like a hard coding or a creating a structure if you know the structure in the advanced then you can uh, create this schema of the variable uh, of this record variable and if you don't know the structure in advanced then let it be just simply create a record variable alright so I have this excel file and uh, uh, what uh, I want to do is I want to read the data of this excel record by record and uh, in that I will uh, I want to print the data okay so let me do this in the automation anywhere at 360 so I have written this code uh, first of all we are going to open this file and then now we will use this loop stage to iterate over uh, each row in the worksheet and uh, in this we need to assign the current value to the variable and this variable will be of record type and uh, we can select the variable and when we click on this create variable we can uh, create a new variable of record type and uh, here we can assign the name and let me click on create and select okay so we have created this record type of variable and uh, in the variables we can see this excel row when we go to this loop uh, in this we can print the value of that uh, record variable for that uh, we can select the variable excel row and when we select one variable of record type we need to select the either index or the name so what uh, which value you want from the record because record can contain multiple values uh, so we need to give the name of the column or the index of the column so for example I want the value which is present at the index 2 uh, this is 0 1 2 means CT okay so I can either give 2 or I can select this by name and uh, I can give the name of, uh, name of the field or the column which is city so here I am giving 2 okay let me delete some data from this so let's run the word and uh, here we go we can see the first uh, uh, we can see the first message box which contains London let me close this and here we can see the next one and this is the last one so this is how we can use the record uh, variable and uh, uh, we can get the value of a particular column with the help of uh, index or with the help of the uh, column name so for example if I give CT here know the name of the 
column so you can give the name of the column and make sure you are giving the correct name accurate and correct name because uh, if you are uh, not giving the correct name it won't be able to get the data so this is how we can use this record variable for reading the excel file now we can get the data of a particular cell of a particular row and uh, you can add some new columns in this record also so this is how we can use this record variable and uh, uh, in this record variable we are getting some uh, columns from the excel file and if you want to update the column name or if you want to update if you want to delete or add new column so we can uh, use these actions uh, delete column action update column action or add column action so we can uh, use this as well uh, for example if we want to update the column so i will select that record variable which is excel row and the index of the column again we can give the index or the name of the column now the column type so i'm selecting it as string and the value so for example if i want to give the value as uh, the y and in destination record variable we can select another variable also uh, we can select another record variable also or we can select this same variable also so if we run the board Uh, for example, so, to, so this CT column is at uh, second uh, index. The, the CT, co CT column have uh, uh, index 2. So now we are updating the value of this uh, CT column. And uh, when we print the message, it will show the new updated value. you guys for watching this video do let me know if you have any doubt or any question in any of the topic of automation anywhere or globalism thank you bye